Hey everyone, today we're going to look into building real life applications as projects that you can put into your portfolio. You're going to have ability to tell stories about them to possible recruiters and thus make an impression instead of having those uh, same old weather apps and uh, Udemy course capstones in your portfolio. So now let's get into tech. My entire idea here is to uh, get into find projects that are uh, actually uh, requested by customers uh, so one of the great places is upwork uh, i think there's another one uh, freelancer.com uh, they also have freelancing jobs uh, you can browse them here um, so there's all kinds of uh, all kinds of jobs here uh, you can create your uh, profiles. I like the Upwork more, but uh, I've done some jobs in the uh, freelancer.com too. But uh, now let's concentrate on the Upwork. So here we are. Next up, we're going to log in and we're going to do it with the Google login. Uh, so uh, let me just click on in. Okay, now we're in uh, Upwork so um when you go to the find work obviously you have to build your own profile uh, i've done mine so uh, we're not looking into that we're just trying to find some uh, projects so for even beginners let's see landing page uh landing page on this one i didn't have to scroll too much too long downwards uh so this is for web design thing but of, of course, if you do front end stuff, you might want to learn something about web design. If you're doing JavaScript things, then this is not your thing. But anyways, it's a great project for your portfolio. So you can have this as a case study. They're looking for a talented website designer to create an e-commerce website. And if you are a web designer, you can just uh, mimic this and build all the actionable functions into it too instead of just the design so they have uh, added the uh, images that they want to be recreated so here we are i just loaded them so they want this kind of a landing page and uh yeah of course you can see it's done with ai all these weird product lock out of us whatever mumbo jumbo so it's AI created design, but this is the what they want as the inspiration. So build something like this. Next, we are going to go and let's see and look something for uh, for Python. Maybe a web scraper. Let's see. Let's try to find a web scraper. OK, guys. So now we're looking for a Python web scraping gig that we can um, build and put it into our portfolio if we're a Python developer. You can also do this with some of the JavaScript libraries. So have no fear if we're just looking for Python this time, you can build it with other technologies too. Here, great website with database. Okay. So need to scrape a website and our database. And this is the example of the website that we're going to be looking to scrape so okay so fallnet.com bottle cap somebody is interested in bottle caps so uh he has scraped the partial list on urls from the website from there access is one scrape the results on the page save it to jason this is a good start I have a problem i'm getting 429 after about five requests at the scale blah blah blah, blah, blah. i tried using a free list proxies from google so uh he has done uh, uh there's all the he has done the uh uh part of it so what you actually have to now do is uh fix his problem which is the uh, uh problem that he's getting blocked so he has uploaded the code and the website already so you have a great start to get and build a project even if you don't apply you'll have 
the real life projects from real life customers to show for and tell your story about how it was built and uh, what you did to fix this problem that this client had okay what about data analytics uh been scrolling a bit and uh i found this interesting thing so preparing excel spreadsheet to create tables report to link data so here's the uh here is the uh, job description and uh, he wants something to do he has he's providing the data here and uh all you have to do for projects is instead of building a building a excel spreadsheet of course you can do this for this client if you want to and you like to do stuff with excel but uh um, you can let's see what we can find out from here uh let's open the test data excel and uh, see what happens okay the excel has uh, downloaded so it's a pretty simple looking thing but uh, obviously they want these all cleaned up and uh, separated and then uh, built in region wise and whatnot so uh, you can just uh, look into stuff like this and uh, start building your uh, Start building your own, uh, let's say, a streamlit project. So you can build like a dashboard that shows the data. You can just build as amazing projects out of these things as possible, and just maybe find some better data too. So I don't know. It's an it's an opportunity again. You can actually apply for this job if you know what what if you can just build this thing that they're asking for. But uh, it's a great project for your portfolio. Uh, again, another problem that the customer has and you solved it. So I was looking for uh, full stack applications for you guys to build a project upon. Well, I stumbled upon a create Chrome desktop extension gig. Um, not the greatest payments. Uh, don't know how long these tend to take to build, but it's looking quite simple. And it's again something that somebody is looking forward to pay for and to get done so you can do this and you have again a case study a problem and you solved it with your code so here's an interesting uh, full stack application build an educational platform front and back end educational platforms uh you need uh, teachers uh portion you need the parents and uh, the students uh user interface they could be different or they could be filtered or whatever the idea here is that uh, you're getting a two-month delivery which is uh, 30 days of uh, development and 30 days for trial and testing so you could use this to build like a website and just uh, prototype website no need to do weird designs or whatever just uh, enter a div and make it at least usable and then uh, just build this project and uh, see if you can do it in 30 days so uh, plan it uh, think about the architecture think about what kind of stuff uh, in an educational uh, full stack application what they would need and uh, plan it make uh, architecture on the database and uh, yeah you've got a full stack application on your profile that's able to uh, able to it's ordered by a customer again we have a real life project that somebody needed and it's sitting on your portfolio okay guys and we have found a project for front-end design uh, as a landing page then we found a great project for web scraping that you could do with Python or with the uh, similar libraries in JavaScript. Uh, we found the data analytics thing. We found the Chrome extension. And then we found the prototype full stack app that uh, has three different user interfaces for uh, teachers, students and parents. And you could build it from ground up with all the technologies of your choosing and just uh, try and build it within the 30 days that was in the gig. So 
these kind of jobs these kind of projects are the real real life problems that your actual customers are paying to get solved but when you have these on your portfolio instead of the weather app and the calculator app that everyone else has so you get the edge and now it's just your effort to go and find the project that we'd like to build and uh, make them harder like learn something while building don't choose the easy ones choose the more advanced ones and get work get to working and that's how you get into tech cheers until next time